Type in Antonio Centeno into Google. What are you going to see? Antonio Centeno. And then all of a sudden it says height, which I'm five foot nine, by the way. It says wife. My wife is hot, by the way. Then it asks for my net worth. So I knew that a lot of people are wondering, okay, Antonio, how much are you worth? I'm not going to reveal that in this video. But what I am going to reveal in this video is how I have been able to build up my net worth considerably over the last few years, every single day, you're trying to earn, you're out there spending, you're trying to figure out how to save money. And I think that understanding money, having a strong fiscal education is key. In this video, guys, I'm going to talk about three tips, three areas that I think you need to master in order to be able to lead a rich life. If you master these three skills, you're going to be able to reach that goal a lot faster because they have worked for me over the last seven years to go from basically nothing, and I have had some ups and downs in my financial life, to go from nothing to being able to all of a sudden, wow, I am in a position, I was able to take a three-week vacation, walk away from my business, it ran like, like a clock, and I came back and my bank accounts were higher. Fiscal skill number one, learn how to make more money. Now, some of you guys maybe were expecting about savings and budgeting and things like that. No, I'll get into that a little bit later. I think the biggest problem is a lot of people stop thinking about actually the money coming in and they're not looking for a side job. They're not looking to start their own business. They're not looking to perhaps get a better job or go outside of those industry. Any of those four things right there can help start to bring more money in. And when you start making more money, you have the good problem of you actually got to pay a little bit more in taxes, but you've got more to play with. And to me, that is the number one determinant of how, because think about it. If you're only making $50,000 a year, which may actually be a lot to many of you guys, but $50,000 a year, no matter how you do it, it's going to be very difficult for you to save up to $100,000. You would have to save up all of your money for two years to save up $100,000. But if you can figure out a way to go from $50,000 a year to $100,000 a year in earning, then all of a sudden reaching that savings goal of $100,000 is much more doable in a period of two years. Start a side job. Go out there and figure out like how can I actually maybe have a business I can do on the weekends. Maybe I'm in the wrong industry. And this is really hard for a lot of people to swallow. Maybe they've gone down a path which is never going to make the money and they need to switch industries. Maybe you need to switch jobs. You are working 70 hours a week for $20,000 a year. You're going to say, you know what? I'm probably going to have to find a company that can pay me more or increase my skill set. And that's, again, scary for a lot of people because we get comfortable. We don't want to necessarily look outside. I want you to go check out Ramit Sethi's programs. I'm going to link to him right here. He's got his dream job program, a great program. He can help you find your dream job. In addition, on this same page, he's got his zero to launch. It's how to get your first business up and off the ground. The key point there is that you get started. And this guy, I mean, I can tell you, I am on his email list. I still follow his information and he has really helped me take my business to the next level. Fiscal skill number two, learn how to budget. Now, that may not sound exciting at all. So, I'm going to give you some shortcuts on that. Number one, set up a system. Go with a bank that allows you to have as many savings accounts as you want and can do automatic withdrawals. This is the way my checking account works. We have one main checking account. All the money goes into there and then it goes out to about 25 separate savings accounts and we save for pretty much any expense. We're already saving for Christmas. That way, you know, I don't have to have a whole bunch of money come out at Christmas this time, but I'm also seeing for more regular events to happen every single month, such as car maintenance, car, you know, gas. Uh, we've got actually for food and, and for various places we know where money needs to be set aside. By doing this, I'm able to pay myself first and I systemize it. And then the money that's in the checking account, we keep it about a reasonable balance. When we start to see it go higher, we put the money or we up savings on other things. I've got a dream house that I'm saving for. So a good amount of money is going right into that dream house account. Account. It gets me excited to be able to see that account going up. So here's the second tip. You want to be able to track it and gamify. I'm going to link you over to an app. One of my favorite apps, Personal Cap. Guys, I cannot say enough great things. It's a free app. When you download this app, you're able to see all of your bank accounts. So like I said, we've got all these savings accounts. It pulls them all in. And then we've got other checking accounts and savings accounts with other banks. All of this comes into one place. 
This is really important because then you're able to see everything in one place and it becomes almost like a game. I found myself daily checking that app, going in there and looking at all of my savings accounts, checking accounts, and watching my net worth go up. The third fiscal skill I want to talk about is for you to have people around you who can help you make smart investments. So number one, you need to have a great accountant. Now, you may do your own accounting and you may, you know, that may work for you, but I think that there comes a time in a man's life when he needs to find an accountant and that may be when you've got multiple jobs, you've started the business, maybe you've got kids and you're married. At that point, look to an accountant, at least try it once and find out because The thing with the accounting system in almost every country is it's not logical. It's built off of laws so the, and it changes every year. So what may have been able to be deducted this year is not going to be able to be deducted necessarily next year and new deductions come up all the time. Your accountant, she or he stays on top of that. In my case, it's a she. She understands internet businesses and she has saved me tons of money. Now, when it comes to financial planning, I've got a financial consultant that I work with who helps me in invest my money smartly. And when it comes down to it, I know I'm not an expert in the stock market, mutual funds, all that other fun stuff, and I've got a trusted person that I work with. The third group of people I want to talk about is a mastermind of other successful people who you can openly talk with money about. Now, I've got a few people in a mastermind, various ones who I can talk about, okay, you know, I've got extra money here, where should I put it? And these guys have shown me, well, I've invested in real estate and I bought this building and this is what I did. And I, it really has helped open my eyes to other opportunities out there. But it's cool when you've got people in your network and you can see them actually doing this and reaping the rewards. It's really motivating and it gives you a lot of encouragement. It's not just something you read in a book, it's actually something that you see being done. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. A little bit different than what I normally talk about, but over at Real Men Real Style, I do talk about financial topics, so you can definitely go check it out. I've got this resource page here for you. So if you want to learn more about starting a business or you're interested, and if you've got questions, feel free to email me. I've got a contact form over at Real Men Real Style, but I really do think that being fiscally smart, fiscally sound, fiscally responsible is the key to the success of any individual and of his community. Money is not something that is actually super important to me, but it is important on a daily basis. I use it, I spend it, I earn it, I try to figure out how to invest it, and it allows me, because I have enough of it, to focus in on the big problems, which is making sure to stay healthy, how to spend time with my kids in an increasingly busy world, how to build relationships with my family who's now all over the world. Those to me are the things I want to focus in on, not how to how to pay my mortgage. And I've been in that position where I didn't have enough money for my mortgage. And so guys, you know, keep taking steps in the right direction and I wish you luck. Take care.